Hello, this is a video on some of the basics around Goddess Flow. Um, not quite sure on the name yet, but what I am observing is that it's all morphing into this beautiful movement practice. All of the modalities that I've been working with, the deep unwinding and primal movements, more of the energy cultivation and Qigong style, uh, practices and this beautiful dance flow um, have all been merging into uh, one practice throughout my day and so I'm really getting excited to share what that looks like with you. I'm doing low pressure because my nervous system is just asking for lots of time to stay healthy and strong and so you know everything that goes around that, all the self-care. I really do practice what I preach, so I'm doing these things all day long as I go through my day. And uh, and hoping to get to the point soon where I can share more condensed classes of like 90 minutes where we do a really nice deep unwinding session. We learn how to use primal movements to focus, uh, focus that energy and vibrate, literally vibrate uh, tension out of our body and create space for pleasure. How to cultivate our feminine and really get keep our energy moving with ease and grace. Um, and how to move and stand and feel like a queen or a goddess in our body. Uh, regardless of what you think is possible or what other people tell you is possible, um, there's always a chance to get deeper into our body and to shift from that pain of holding tension uh, into the pleasure of embracing our spirit deeper into our body. So I'm going to go over a few of the um, more of standing postures that I use in a Goddess Flow series uh, and kind of break them down a little bit. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to teach because it's always intuitive by the music uh, or inspired by the music. Uh, so we'll see what happens. Okay. So one of the things that I really love to do is to gather. And this is a combination of flexion and extension. So when we extend, we're arching our back just a little bit and when we flex, we're rounding forward. And this is uh, a really beautiful movement uh, that we can do in many different ways, but that always helps us to gather our energy, to create a strength within, um, and to both be able to receive as we open and to, um, to gather or give um, as we go forward. So those are our choices on that. And what that looks like is, um, you know, when we have a little bit faster rhythm, so we can gather. So as we're gathering, we're making sure our bellies are strong and we're flexing and extending as we create strength in that movement. It's a very functional movement, like we're bending down uh, to reap grain or gather greens or whatever it is. Um, another one that we can do is spiraling. So I spiral throughout the day and it's a very beautiful movement. It can be done slow or fast. The key is to have that spiral wherever you're using it to be really smooth and graceful. And it can be a spiral in your shoulder that resonates out through your arm. It can be uh, you know, a spiral in your body where you're circling your hips. And when we're circling the hips in this way, we're learning to control and re uh, contract and release uh, in a circle around the body to make it nice and smooth. And so this is a support in learning how to activate our more orgasmic control, our orgasmic energy in our muscles. Where when we're able to contract and release them in a rippling fashion throughout the body, we get that rhythmic pulsing through our muscles, and so we can activate orgasmic energy in a spiral up our bodies, out into our energy field, and just be permeated by that sense of release and expansion. We can spiral or circulate energy. So this is kind of a combination of some gathering and a more spiral, so we can even gather side to side. 
And so as I'm doing this, I'm feeling the energy within. I'm not just moving my arms through the air. Like that, you know, it looks good. But when you're not controlling it, and it's just kind of floppy, that's a way to release energy. But when we want to learn to move the energy through, we need to learn to be able to control and release as we go. So to get beautiful fluid movements, we're learning to contract and release individual muscles or muscle groups as we move, right? So if we want to do a roll up, we contract pelvis first, and we shift that wave up through our belly and even up through our hearts and up through our energy field. And in this way, one simple movement can activate all the way up our vagus nerve, all the way up our spinal canal, really activating um, our deep nervous system and helping to balance it. So we can also move side to side. So this is similar to the shaking movement, but it's nice and slow and fluid. This is great for the joints. And again, we're learning to contract and release as we go in order to get a smooth, fluid, beautiful movement. We can go faster, we can pop it. There's all kinds of things we can do, but when we're really looking to build control over our muscles, it can be really helpful to go nice and slow. And that actually helps to tone muscle uh, with very little impact, right? So if we don't have a lot of extra energy, we can actually use these really simple, subtle movements to help build our core energy, uh, keep our superficial energy calm, so that when we do rebuild that core energy, it just naturally flows through. So we, as we release tension, we can start to rebuild our energy with these really gentle yet powerful movements. So I'm just cycling my hips and it's creating circulation of energy just around my womb right now, but I'm starting to feel it build up into my upper belly. And soon I might add my heart into it and really get a strong uh, pulsing through the heart energy, which can create a uh, more impactful orgasm, more full body orgasm. Um, and when we get really strongly connected with our womb energy uh, and our blockages are clear along our nervous system, we can actually begin to activate a pelvic orgasm just with movement. As we learn to control and release the muscles that have been released with other blockages. Okay, so I'm just doing hip circles. I'm doing interior hip circles, which means I'm not moving around the diameter of my hips. I'm staying within that space. And we can focus more when we circle on contracting one side or the other to make it a little sharper. Or we can just go smooth and even throughout. So this is the part where it gets nice and intuitive and inspired by the music is we can listen for the beats and the downbeats in the music and we can accent on those and mix it up a little bit and have it be a little more fun. We can mix up slow and fast. These will get different um, nerves activated in the body. And if you notice when we are um, having sex, it's often a mix of that slow and fast. It's a very uh, sensual pace, that combination, because it means we're activating our nerves on multiple levels. If we have slow and fast energy, if we have um, more fluid and then more popping energy, if we have more fiery and then more soothing water energy, all of those help to build orgasmic energy because it just wakes up our nervous system. Okay, so just shaking the hips. Lifting my foot as I shift from side to side. And it can come into the shoulders a little bit, but it's all activating from the hips. We want to ripple it up. You can add in arms if you want. I'm just pulsing my arms forward, gathering energy. Kind of pumping it too. You can accentuate the pumping if we rock your hips back and forth, a little forward torque. This will help to build up that really strong womb and orgasmic energy in our feminine center. 
can add in the chest a little more, get a little bigger action. Be gentle with this one if you have back pain. We're contracting our back from the ribs to the hips and then rounding forward just gently. Pushing your hands like we're pushing through jello or nectar or honey. So we're getting a strong activation through the chest and the heart. My feet are still now, I'm just focused on the chest. Flexion and extension. Belly is lightly engaged, and the feet is a feeling of lifting all the way up into the chest as we move. So we're not rounded forward, we're lifting. Faster. And shake all the way through. Really getting the shoulders into it. We can lean forward, knock back. When we get as much of our body into our movements as possible, then the effect is multiplied. So that's why I like really big full body movements combined with really subtle movements. It's also really beautiful to watch. So I'm just rocking my hip and then lifting the other one like a wheel. And then going side to side. Can be anything you want it to be. You know, this is just what the music is affecting in my body, and I'm just using the movements that I've developed and that come have come naturally to me as a way of um, deeply intuitive, inspired movement. So I just noticed my little pile there. Sorry about that, but I'm moving. So just little shakes. See if you can ripple it up in a wave like you're milking upward. This will help tone the vagus nerve, make our art deep artery strong, and our veins strong, and milk our lymphatic system, tone our muscles, help us be able to orgasm throughout the body more easily. So I'm just doing a light shake side to side as I shift my hips side to side and follow with shoulder spirals. Really beautiful unwinding through the shoulders as we strengthen the core. Let the hands trail softly so that energy flows through so there's no blockage as we move. A little bigger shift forward as I twist side to side. Just letting the energy ripple through my arms as I spiral. all the way to the pelvic temple floor. Hmm. 